guys ready to go for our strong running workout this is a 24 minute session you are already warmed up i hope you need your heavy weights something a little bit lighter to go overhead um, i do have the bench today we're going to use that for that calf raise we've been doing i also have a glute bridge using that bench today so if you don't have a bench you can always use a chair as well um, i'm going to be your timer today we're going to work in about 30 second effort for doing a single um, exercise, single arm or single leg. Otherwise, it's a 45 second effort and then we'll rest for about 15. Uh, get on your timer, so put on some fun music. You're already warmed up, so we're gonna get right into it. I have four exercises, we're gonna repeat them twice and there's three blocks today. That was a lot of info. So our first exercise, you're gonna need one heavy kettlebell or dumbbell, something though that you can go overhead. So choose wisely. You're gonna have 30 seconds on each side. We're gonna do a reverse lunge like this. You're gonna come in and press that dumbbell straight overhead. I'm gonna show you from the side. You're gonna come back here, and then we're gonna come straight up. So grab that dumbbell for me. We're gonna work, like I said, we've got three blocks. I'll give you a little chance to regroup uh, at the end of each block. So let's get after it. All right, timer's on. Give me your right leg and your right arm has the dumbbell. Let's go down to that reverse lunge and press to the ceiling. So again, I'm gonna give you about 30 seconds whenever we do something single, single leg or single arm. So you're working here. You'll be able to pause this whenever you need to, but this is a great 24 minute um, hips, glutes. We'll get legs, of course, hammies in. And get ready to switch. Let's go to your other side. So a quick switch to the left. And then of course we've got the upper body today and lots of good opportunity for core throughout the whole workout. So we'll do two times going through each block. And just go slow, take your time. Make sure that second time through, you're using a challenging weight. We're almost there. Five seconds yet, we're gonna switch. Three, two, one, and rest. Remember that one arm row? You're gonna grab your one heavy dumbbell. You can also use a kettlebell. I love a kettlebell for this exercise. Use your bench, or I'm gonna show you without the bench what it looks like. I'm just gonna lean forward like this and pull, get ready to go. So this is gonna be another 30 seconds on each side. I wanna make sure you're pulling on the diagonal. So if you'll notice, my dumbbell comes in front by my foot and then I draw that elbow back. You want to take a nice big exhale as you bring that weight back towards your body. And remember there's two directions, right? And up and up down, so just make sure they're both slow and controlled. We're gonna switch in three, two, and go ahead and switch sides. We'll get that left arm working. Same thing, reach for that front foot, draw the elbow back, big exhale as you pull. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Getting ready to move on to our third exercise in a little bit. So I'm just showing you here that left arm pulling my right foot is forward. We're gonna be doing a goblet squat next. Finish this one up. We've got three, two, and one. All right, our goblet squat, you can use one heavy dumbbell or again, in class we're using a kettlebell, so it's always a great option. Separate those feet. Let's get the chest up nice and tall and drop. We've got 45 second effort here. And then we're gonna to go to our last exercise in this group. And it's gonna be a plank exercise, something for the core. So you'll notice here in that goblet squat, I'm keeping it up nice and high, sinking down nice and slow. Try not to bounce at that end range, it's tempting, I know. But I kind of come down, I place my body weight towards the floor, and then use my feet, push in, and lengthen towards the center. Come on up. So really take your time with this one. It's a down, squeeze, and lift out. I'm ready to do that plank. We've got a good five solid seconds here. Stay with it. Almost there. And go ahead and rest. So our plank and drag, we're gonna have one dumbbell down. You're gonna drag it just from side to side. So come to it in a plank position, feet are wide, 45 second effort. I'm gonna come underneath, grab the dumbbell, and move it to the other side. Let's try it. 
heart rate should be coming up a little bit. So then we're gonna go back around with the same exercise as we start with. We'll do that reverse lunge to overhead. So my feet are wide. You wanna to try to make sure those glutes aren't rocking side to side with this exercise. I'm just lifting, pulling it across. And the further you reach under, the harder it's gonna be. So challenge yourself a little bit. Kind of place that dumbbell out of reach a little bit. Three, two, and crawl yourself in. Ready to go from the top. We've got a reverse lunge to overhead press. Round two, last time through you guys. Ready to go, this is a 30 second each side. All right. So I like this workout because it's doable during the week. I think you can quickly get a good amount on each of the muscle groups. So it doesn't take up tons of time. And you can really challenge yourself with different weights. Kettlebells feel different than dumbbells. All right, ready to switch sides. I'm in that leather side. Whatever foot goes back, that's the arm that has the weight. So you're doing that reverse lunge and then press and lift right to the ceiling. Next up, we've got that one arm row. Big exhale and lift. Two times through today. Get that big exhale as you lift your body weight up towards the ceiling. And ready to go in three, two, one, and rest. All right, so we're gonna go into that bend over row. So again, I mentioned if you have a kettlebell at home, use it. It's a great tool, especially for the row. Let's go ahead and get the right arm going. I've got my right leg back a little bit in a kickstand, or you can have it all the way back and work the legs a little bit more, work the core a little bit more. So again, I'm in here in a nice kickstand position, or I lengthen that leg and put a little bit more load on that front hamstring glute. Your choice. Get a good row in. Let's get to the other side. Now I've got that left arm on the diagonal. And again, I'm going to choose that kickstand position or just showing you how I really lengthen that left leg. And now I'm getting super low with that lunge. And you feel the difference there. So your choice. So you can manage today. Goblet squat is coming up next. We're going to change in three, in two, and let's get after that goblet squat. You can use a heavy dumbbell. Again, you can use a kettlebell if you have it. So we'll get those feet wide. This is a basic squat, but nice and slow. All right, let's try it together. We're down and then I'm up. So you just want to make sure with this, you roll the shoulders back, keep the chest up, and you don't want to bounce at the bottom when you do a squat. You really want to feel your feet push into the floor and lengthen your body. Get more out of this exercise. We're gonna head into that plank and drag next, and that'll finish up our first block. Cruising right through it. We got this. Big exhale, get to the top, nice and slow. We're gonna change in five, four, three, two, and let's get after that plank. Let's drop it down. I'm gonna use the kettlebell again because I just have it in my hand. Let's plank and drag and go for it. So again, I'm kind of like letting it go out far, not, not being kind to myself, not putting it in a place that's super easy, even forward a little bit. So up here is good. And then I bring it on the diagonal on the back. The whole time though, keeping those glutes steady the best that I can. This is fun, you guys. This is a good time. All right, we're almost done this first block. We've got 15 solid seconds here. Just drag that kettlebell, pull it on through. 
We've got this. We're finishing in three, two, and you're gonna rest, crawl it in. Hey, good work, get a sip of water. Block number two is coming up. I've got a deadlift, a bench press. We're gonna use that half raise one. And as I mentioned, we're gonna do a glute um, bridge using the bench. So you need your chair, your bench for this next block. Let's get set up. Deadlift, come see me. I need your heaviest kettlebell or two heavy dumbbells. So two heavy dumbbells, totally fine. Remember, you're gonna squeeze those armpits down, right? We talked about that, keeping those lats engaged. Feet are apart, the bell stays super close to your body if you're using two dumbbells. You're gonna hip hinge, the hips move first. I soften my knees, kind of like I'm pushing the door closed with my butt, and then I press into the floor, squeeze, and come up. All right, so our first exercise today is gonna to be a deadlift. You can even let those dumbbells drop to the floor a little bit. So you have that weight there. If that feels good to come down to the floor, you can just make sure you're not squatting, right? You wanna do those hips first. I'm gonna use a kettlebell. I've got it right here, loading it up. It's between my feet. Let's get started. This is block number two. All right, you go ahead and give me your best deadlift here. I keep it nice and close. And you can have one dumbbell if it's super heavy. But remember deadlift, we wanna use that heaviest weight that you have. It actually helps you to keep better form when you have that heavy weight. And just like the squat, practicing pushing our feet into the floor. That's gonna really engage the muscles that we're trying to work here a little bit more. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale. Of course, if you have a bar and plates at home, you can also use that. Any kind of weight that you feel is gonna challenge you, wanna feel those glutes and hamstrings loading, not the quads in the front. All right, we're gonna rest. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and get into that um, bench press, so let's grab two heavy weights. I'll meet you down there. We've been doing this one. So roll yourself back, get yourself comfortable here. Elbows are inside, and let's go ahead and push them together. So this could be legs flat. You don't have to have the knees bent. Do whatever feels best on your back. For me, I feel better if my legs are just completely out. We've got two heavy dumbbells here. They're coming down about 45 degrees. And then we squeeze those elbows together. Head is back and relaxed. I'm lifting mine up just so I can see the timer. You guys keep it back, keep relaxed. You know what you're doing. Just a bench press. Push it out. When we do round two, I'm gonna tweak this a little bit. We're almost there. You're gonna give me five, four, three, two, and rest. So while we're down here, we're gonna go right to that glute bridge. So let's go ahead and turn around so we have our heels right, you wanna have your body close. Heels are gonna be on top of that chair, or just a little bit, so my heels are touching here. Hands can be down or up, and we're gonna lift up and down. Come with me with this one. This is our next challenge. All right, we're on, you guys. So this is just a glute bridge. If you feel you can, you could put some extra weight on your thighs. If you had a plate, a big old plate at home, you could put that, not a dinner plate. I'm talking about one of those weight plates. And then again, we're nice and slow here. We're squeezing, I'm pushing into the bench and I'm lifting up those glutes. And then we're gonna go into our calf raise. So that one's gonna be loaded. So we're gonna to need to grab two heavy weights coming up. Next up. All right, keep pushing here, drive into that bench for me. We're almost there, we should be. Yep, we're there, relax, come on up. Let's go ahead and grab two heavy weights. You're gonna give me 30 seconds on each side. So I load one foot on, the opposite heel is down, two heavy weights, and we're gonna go for 30 seconds on each side. So right here in that single leg calf raise, we did this one in class together. So you wanna make sure you're coming down nice and slow, right? We come up and then slowly I bring that heel towards the floor. I'm not really resting. I'm just barely getting to the floor and then I pop myself right back up. 
Keep working here. We're almost ready to switch sides. And let's go ahead and switch. Get your other foot on top and get right after it. That heel comes up and then I slowly come down. And again, we're using the heavy weights for this one. Really working on that lower leg. Lift and a slow down. This is a great exercise. We're just kind of mixing it in the workout. And give me one more rep and relax. All right, we're gonna go back around. We have that deadlift. So let's go ahead and grab those two heavy weights or maybe you have a nice big kettlebell you wanna use. Let's go ahead and get started with this one. In three, two, one, and you're on deadlift time. Remember, engage those lats. And that just means, like I said, I'm kind of keeping my armpits down like I'm, I'm holding, I don't know, I think I told you guys an orange or something. You can hold something underneath your armpits. You gotta keep it there, a ball, a tennis ball, so it doesn't fall out. Just engaging, don't let that, those bells or dumbbells get away from the body with this one. And we'll do some variations next class with the deadlift coming up now that I feel like you all have this deadlift, which looked amazing on Saturday. So kudos to you guys, it did, it looked fantastic. All right, let's get, everybody gets one more rep in. Go ahead and give me one solid, good form rep in, and then we're down the floor. Let's come on down, we've got that bench press. Don't come down unless you've got those heavy weights in your hand. Bring them on with you, and I'm going right into it. So this is your bench press. Right? And I'm keeping it going. So we notice there's not a lot of recovery between exercises of this workout. Um, I'm switching muscle groups a lot, so we don't have to. It's not tons of reps. So we can keep it going. And it's just a nice option. Sometimes it's good to do reps, sometimes it's good to do this where we're just quickly moving. So they each have benefits. The more consistent with you, you are with the strength training, the more your body will respond and the more you're gonna get out of it. So let's keep working here. Head is back. I'm gonna inhale, exhale. I need five solid seconds. Four, three, two, and let's rest. All right, flip it on over. You've got your glute bridge. We're gonna use the bench again or a chair. Anything, really, a box you have sitting around that's sturdy. You're gonna put your heels on. I've got a piece of my, my heel there. So you wanna make sure you're just not, you know, totally flat-footed, hands are down, but get yourself close to the bench and then go ahead and left. So again, if I had, you know, a nice plate or I could grab these dumbbells and I could have you have a dumbbell here on my thigh, even my hips lifting up. You could have two of these if you want. Whatever you can manage, or maybe you feel like it's just enough. You don't need to add any more weight to it. And with this one, remember you've got to get all the way to the top, so just make sure you're not skimping. It's easy to do. I see a lot of that where it's a quick pulse. I want you to come up, open those hips, make sure your glutes are squeezing. You want to engage those glutes. That's what we're doing this for, is hamstrings and glutes. Squeeze and lift. Work through that range of motion. We've got the calf coming up. And then that ends block number two. I told you this would be a fast workout. And it is. Let's stay with this one just a little bit more because it probably took you a little bit to get into the position. So go ahead and hang on here. We've got five. Four, three, two, and rest. All right, let's pop up to that calf raise. Again, you want to load with those two heavy weights or two heavy kettlebells. This is a 30 second effort. I'm just gonna turn the side so I can see this timer and we're up. So I'm taking one heel and I'm lifting it off the ground. I come up and then slowly come down. Almost like a one. One, two, three, down, count. 
Amazing, two blocks are gonna be done. We're gonna be in our third block today. Told you, it's a good 24 minute. I think it's doable time-wise. And let's switch legs. I find you are, if it's a little bit shorter, I'm more apt to get it done. Um, and also I can do it even after a run. I still feel like I have time to be able to do it if I did a short run that day, come back and do some strength training. And I always recommend the run first. That way you're not running on super, super tired with the tired legs and joints and tendons. But I'm happy that you're just doing it. So whenever you can fit it in, I'll take it. All right, you're gonna stay here. We've got to do five, four, three, two, and a water break. Amazing, two blocks down. We've got one left to go. This is gonna start with a side lunge. So we did this on Saturday, but I'm gonna add a bicep curl to it just because because your arms are gonna to wanna to do something, so I'm gonna give you something to do with them. So we're first gonna step out. I'm gonna bring those weights to the inside of my foot. You're gonna come step together, and you're gonna give me a nice bicep curl. So choose the two weights that you can do that with. So again, I'm gonna step down. You'll have 30 seconds on each side. All right, so we're gonna do that with this one. I have a tricep, I have the crowd pleaser side plank. Everybody loves a good side plank. And we'll do that dead bug. And this is our last one. All right, let's get our right leg ready. We're gonna step out to the right side. First exercise, let's get after it. So again, I'm stepping, I'm sitting back. I'm gonna step together, and then I'm gonna curl into that bicep curl. Take your time with this. If the floor seems just too far away, you don't feel like it's doable for your joints, then you're going to go here. I go to my knee and then I'm going to pull up. We're going to stay nice and tall, right? So I sit down, come in and pull. So you're going to get a couple reps on each side, not tons. We're going to be switching to our left foot after this rep here. All right, so let's shimmy over and then go ahead and get down, come in and lift. So this block is going to have a good amount of core stuff going on. Of course, we'll get those lovely triceps in. And here we are getting some bicep work, which is kind of cool. We didn't do biceps in our workout on Saturday. It's more of just, you know, this is kind of a combo move, making it more of a compound. Gets our bodies thinking a little bit, having to move different directions and rest. Okay, so we did a tricep overhead with a kettlebell. If you have that, great. If not, you're going to grab one dumbbell. It's going to look like this. I'm turning the side so you can see you're going to come down and out. So remember this one? Right? Okay, let's do it. So let's get a good, just triceps. Nothing going on. Big exhale and lift. Nothing crazy yet. So what I'd like to do is see if you can add some kind of little calf raise with it. So let's try that. So as I'm pressing that dumbbell up, I'm adding a little calf raise. And I've got two of them going at the same time. If this is too much coordination, you feel like it's messing up your tricep, keep the heels down. I'd rather you do just the tricep. We've got a five, four, Three, two, and rest. All right, so let's come on down. We're gonna do our side plank. I want a stacked side plank. And here's the deal. You're not gonna do a darn thing. You're just gonna hold for 30 seconds. So two feet together or that bottom leg is down. You are on here for 30 seconds. We're not moving any legs this round. You're gonna give a good solid side plank. If you need that leg down, do it. You can also scissor your feet. And that makes it a little bit um, less challenging. So if you need it, take it. Let's really focus on keeping that good frame with the upper body. And think about that neck too. We don't want to be kinking our neck. You just want to have that nice neutral spine, chin away from the chest. Just hanging out here, having a good time. We're going to do 30 seconds on the other side. And then of course a dead bug. 
That'll be our last exercise before we repeat. How you doing? Hanging out all right? I know. And rest, this is a quick switch. So you wanna quickly get to your other side. Stack, drop the knee, whatever you're doing, and you're on, you guys. Here we go. I'm gonna give you another good solid 30 seconds. So this is both our core, like our core members, also our glutes. So we're hitting, we're torching through the center here, but then we're getting those glutes with this one. And such a great exercise. And it's something that nobody likes to do. So we're gonna put in the workout so that we get her done. Keep hanging on, we're almost there. We change in three, two, and great job. We've got our dead bugs. We did this on Saturday. So let's go ahead and get our dead bug going. We're gonna grab one heavy weight, hold it up, bend those knees, and just lengthen one leg out to the side. So we're gonna try this with one heavy weight overhead. And it's nice and slow. Remember we're lifting out slowly and then bringing our feet back. We're bringing those knees back. This is our last block, so come on, bring it. We've got it. We're gonna go back around with that side lunge coming up. So I even put a little pause in. That's gonna challenge even just holding. So challenge yourself with this one and rest. Let's meet up top. We've got that side lunge and bicep curl. Grab your bicep curl weights. Give you a second to set up. Your right leg is gonna move, step out. Ready to go? All right, right leg steps out. We come in and you're gonna curl. Let's try it again. Down, in, and curl. Sit back with that lunge. If you don't want to go deep, just stay at your knee. That works too. Push off and curl in. Looking good. Let's keep at it here. Everybody's going to get one more rep with your right leg. And then go ahead and get to shimmy over. We're going to get to that left side. Give me a little side shuffle. And you're going to go. So now we're stepping out with our left foot. I still have that nice bicep curl. Again, just making it a compound move. Just giving our body more to think about, more things to process. We got this. Big lift, big exhales. We're almost there on this side, and then we're gonna go to our tricep. So we're gonna, again, give me one more rep on your left leg. Go ahead, just give me one more good rep here. And then we have our tricep overhead, which could be a dumbbell. It doesn't have to be a kettlebell like we did in class, but I have this dumbbell here. Squeeze those elbows together. I'm just showing you from the side. It comes down, presses up, ready to try. I'm gonna put that calf raise in. It's optional. You don't have to do the calf raise. Could just be the tricep. And if you have a heavier weight, the calf raise probably is gonna to be too much. So I would prefer you go heavy weight and ditch the calf raise. So your choice with this. Hey, side plank is coming up. Can't wait for it. I'm gonna add an optional, you can hold a leg up this time. Optional, totally optional. If you feel challenged with what you're doing, then you're not gonna do that. But keep working on those side planks, they make a difference. And you'll notice that you'll be able to be stronger with them the more repetition. Let's get one more rep in here. All right, let's come on down. We've got that side plank. So again, we're on the forearm. You're gonna stack, scissor, or drop the underneath leg. Everybody is up for 30 seconds. And hopefully you can see, but I have my top leg lifted a little bit. So that's an option. So I'm here holding the plank. And all I did was take my top leg, lift it off a little bit. And then I'm still holding it. That makes a huge difference. I'm feeling it already. Feeling it already. Stay with me here. We've got a good 30 seconds on the clock. And then we'll try the other side. See which one's working a little better for us. Change in three, two, one. Flip it around, you guys. It's a quick flip. Let's get after that side plank. Feet are up. 
right? We're lengthening. And then I'm just gonna knock my water bottle over here. We've got that top leg lifted. You're on the clock. Here we go. Dead bug. We're gonna actually switch up our dead bug. I'm gonna have the weight in your right hand coming up. And then, hey, listen, that's our last exercise. We are done, cooked. How you doing? You all right with the side plank? If you don't want that top leg lifted, drop it. We are almost there, though. Stay with me here. Five, four, three, two, and drop. Hey, great job with that side plank. Let's get one dumbbell, put it in your right hand for me. Right here has the dumbbell. Both knees are up. Your other hand can just be up. I just need your left leg coming out and back in. Ready? All right, here we go. So the right arm has the dumbbell. My left leg is the dead bug coming out and in. Go slow with this. Again, even a pause is awesome at the end. We're gonna try and finish up here with 30 seconds each side, and that will be the end of our workout today. Doing all right? Getting ready to switch? All right, let's go ahead and try the other side. So I'm just gonna put the dumbbell in my left hand, and now my right leg is only. So you've gotta keep that left arm lifted, so make sure you're lengthening to the ceiling. So commit to it, have a weight that you can maintain. My opposite leg is staying up in that 90 degree angle, hanging out a little bit at the end, not touching the floor, right? We're getting close, just kind of pausing and then back in. This is some deep, deep, deep core. Such a great exercise, lots of variations. Definitely makes every single class that we've been doing. We are almost there. Work hard here, you're gonna be five, four, three, two, and a rest. Fantastic job, you guys rocked it. Hey, thanks for giving, uh, giving your time to strengthening. Kudos, hey, I'll see you on Saturday. Good job, have a great week. Bye everybody, see ya.